Before performing an impedance or a discharge test, you'll first want to configure the string. This entails inputting basic information about the string to be tested. This data can be updated at any time. This is a simple operation that can be done from the front panel of the Byte 5. To start, first press and hold the power button until the unit turns on. The unit will now boot up to the main screen. From the main screen, press the record icon. This will open the record screen. Now press string. The unit will now display all the program string configurations. Press add to create a new string. Now enter all the relevant data about the string by pressing on the field of interest. Enter a string name. Please note, this is a unique name and cannot be repeated for other strings. Enter the battery model number. Enter the battery capacity. The index number is automatically assigned by the unit. Select the type of battery, lead acid, NICAD, nickel metal hydride, or lithium ion. Enter the number of cells in the string. This will be the number of measurements you can take through a single pass through the string. Enter a reference ohmic value if known. This will be used along with the warning and alarm limits to indicate which cells pass and which fail. If you don't know the value, do not worry, you can add it later. Enter the warning limit if known. This will be used along with the reference and alarm limits to indicate which cells pass and which fail. <laughs> Again, if you do not know the value, do not worry, you can enter it later. Enter the alarm limit if known. This will be used along with the reference and warning limits to indicate which cells pass and which fail. And again, if you don't know the value, do not worry, you can add it later. Enter the battery reference or float voltage. This will be used along with the lower limit to indicate which cells pass and which fail. Enter the battery voltage lower limit. This will be used along with the reference voltage to indicate which cells pass and which fail. When done, press OK. The configuration is now complete.